Have you ever wondered about the seven wonders of the world? These are the marvels that have ignited imaginations for centuries, each carrying a tale of architectural prowess, cultural significance, and the artistry of ancient civilizations. They're the seven wonders of the ancient world, a list of remarkable constructions from classical antiquity. The towering Great Pyramid of Giza, the legendary Hanging Gardens of Babylon, the colossal statue of Zeus at Olympia, the Grand Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, the monumental mausoleum at Halicarnassus, the towering Colossus of Rhodes, and the guiding lighthouse of Alexandria. Yet time and circumstance have left only one standing today, the Great Pyramid of Giza. This video will whisk you across time and space, unraveling the mysteries, delving into the historical context, and discovering the enduring legacy of these extraordinary structures. So, buckle up, history enthusiasts and curious minds. Join us as we unravel the mysteries and discover the enduring legacy of these extraordinary structures. Our first stop is the iconic Great Pyramid of Giza. Situated near the bustling city of Cairo, Egypt, the Great Pyramid has been an enduring symbol of human ingenuity for over 4,000 years. A testament to the architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians, it was constructed as a grand tomb for the Pharaoh Khufu, part of a complex featuring three large pyramids. This colossal structure, built with an estimated 2.5 million blocks of stone, stands at an awe-inspiring height of nearly 480 feet. Its precise alignment with the cardinal points of the compass, remarkable even by today's standards, underlines the Egyptians' advanced understanding of astronomy. The Great Pyramid's cultural significance cannot be overstated. It not only served as a monument to the divine pharaoh Khufu, but also as a testament to the power and wealth of the ancient Egyptian civilization. Its survival through millennia, resisting the ravages of time and human conflict, stands as a testament to the Egyptians' architectural genius. Even today, the Great Pyramid continues to captivate and mystify. Despite extensive studies and explorations, many of its secrets remain locked within its massive stone walls, leaving us to marvel at the mysteries of its construction and purpose. The Great Pyramid of Giza, a testament to the architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians, stands as the only surviving wonder. A silent sentinel from a time lost in the sands, it continues to inspire awe and wonder in the hearts of those who behold it. Next, we travel to the legendary Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Picture a splendid paradise, a terraced garden with lush greenery cascading down on multiple levels. This is the image the Hanging Gardens of Babylon conjure in our minds. Described by ancient writers with awe, these gardens were said to be a sight to behold. They painted a picture of exotic plants and trees flourishing, waterfalls cascading down terraces, and an intricate irrigation system that kept this wonder alive in the arid desert. Where were these gardens exactly? The ancient city of Babylon is the most likely candidate situated in what is now modern-day Hilla Babel in Iraq. But, and here's where the plot thickens, no definitive archaeological evidence of these gardens has been found in Babylon. This has led to ongoing debates among scholars about their actual existence and location. Some suggest they might have been located in Nineveh, the capital of the Assyrian Empire. Others propose they were a poetic creation, a symbolic representation of the fertile Mesopotamian landscape. Despite the lack of tangible proof, the allure of the Hanging Gardens endures. They represent the human desire to create beauty, to tame nature, and to make the impossible possible. As we grapple with the enigma they present, one thing is clear. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, whether fact or fiction, continue to captivate our imaginations. Now let's move to the Grand Statue of Zeus at Olympia. This colossal statue was a masterpiece, crafted by the renowned Greek sculptor Phidias. It towered majestically within the Temple of Zeus, depicting the god Zeus seated on an elaborate throne. Cast in gold and ivory, the statue was an embodiment of divine majesty and artistic genius. The cultural significance of the statue was immense. It represented the pinnacle of Greek artistry and religious devotion, earning a revered spot among the seven wonders. Visitors from all over the ancient world journeyed to Olympia, not only for the famous games, but also to gaze upon this awe-inspiring representation of Zeus, the king of the Greek gods. Sadly, like many of the seven wonders, the statue no longer stands. Yet, its memory endures, immortalized in ancient texts and the collective imagination of humanity. The statue of Zeus, a symbol of ancient Greek art, is forever etched in history. Our journey takes us next to the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus. Nestled in the ancient city of Ephesus, near present-day Selkuk, Turkey, 
This temple was a testament to the grandeur of ancient architecture and reverence for the goddess Artemis. It was an awe-inspiring structure, exquisitely adorned with intricate artwork that stood as a symbol of devotion, craftsmanship, and the artistic prowess of the time. The Temple of Artemis was not just a place of worship, but also a marketplace and a bank, making it a central hub of social and economic activity. Sadly, little remains of this magnificent edifice today. Its once towering pillars and ornate sculptures have been reduced to mere fragments, leaving us to imagine its past splendor. Yet the Temple of Artemis continues to inspire, its story etched in the annals of history and its legacy resonating through the ages. The Temple of Artemis, though lost to time, leaves behind a legacy of grandeur and beauty. We now venture to the mausoleum at Halicarnassus. Located in what is now Bodrum, Turkey, this monumental tomb was a tribute to love and power. Built for Mausolus, the Persian satrap of Korea, and his wife Artemisia II, it was more than just a final resting place. It was a symbol of their shared reign and their enduring love. The mausoleum was a marvel of architecture, blending Greek, Egyptian, and Near Eastern design elements. Its grandeur was elevated by the work of four renowned Greek sculptors, each responsible for one side of the tomb. Topped with a colossal statue of Mausolus and Artemisia in a chariot, it was a sight to behold. The mausoleum's significance extends beyond its architectural beauty. It stands as a testament to the cultural exchange and fusion that characterized the Hellenistic period. Despite its destruction in a series of earthquakes, its legacy endures in the word mausoleum, now a generic term for grand tombs. The mausoleum at Halicarnassus, a testament to love and power, remains an architectural marvel. Let's now marvel at the Colossus of Rhodes. This colossal statue representing the sun god Helios was a testament to the artistry and ambition of ancient civilizations. Erected on the Greek island of Rhodes, it was crafted with skill and precision by the sculptor Charis of Lindos. Standing near the harbor entrance, it was one of the tallest statues of the ancient world, reaching an astounding height that dwarfed the onlookers below. The Colossus was not just a statue, it was a symbol of Rhodes' wealth and naval prowess. Its size and grandeur reflected the city's status as a significant economic and cultural hub in the Mediterranean. Despite its unfortunate demise due to an earthquake, the memory and legend of the Colossus live on. Its story continues to captivate us, reminding us of the grandeur that once graced the island of Rhodes. The Colossus of Rhodes, a symbol of might and power, continues to inspire awe. Finally, we arrive at the Lighthouse of Alexandria. This remarkable structure, also known as the Pharos of Alexandria, once stood on the small island of Pharos near Alexandria, Egypt. It was a beacon of safety, guiding sailors into the bustling harbor with its impressive height and a mirror that reflected sunlight during the day. The lighthouse was a testament to the architectural prowess of its creator, Sostratus of Cnidus. It was a three-tiered structure, each level distinct in design and purpose. The lowest square shape level housed storage rooms and accommodations for the lighthouse keepers. The middle octagonal level contained the main mechanisms for the lighthouse's operation. At the top, a cylindrical section held the beacon light, a fire which was kept burning day and night. In its prime, the lighthouse of Alexandria was more than just a navigational aid. It was a symbol of human ingenuity a monument that showcased the brilliance of ancient engineering. The Lighthouse of Alexandria, a beacon of guidance, stands as an enduring symbol of ancient innovation. And so our journey through the seven wonders of the world comes to an end. We have traversed the sands of time, from the enduring Great Pyramid of Giza to the legendary Hanging Gardens of Babylon, marveled at the colossal statue of Zeus at Olympia and the Grand Temple of Artemis at Ephesus. We have admired the architectural brilliance of the mausoleum at Halicarnassus, stood in awe of the Colossus of Rhodes, and imagined the beacon of the Lighthouse of Alexandria guiding sailors to safe shores. Each wonder, a testament to the architectural prowess, cultural significance, and artistic ingenuity of the civilizations that birthed them. They embody the spirit of human endeavor, the thirst for magnificence, and the timeless allure of mystery. Though most of these wonders are lost to time, their legacy continues to captivate our imaginations, reminding us of the extraordinary feats achieved by our ancestors.